In this video, we're going to create our first function. Now to create our own function in MATLAB, we start by opening a new M file, just as we would for creating a script M file. So what we're going to do for our first function is we're going to create a function that converts radians to degrees. So our function will have an input parameter of number of radians and an output parameter corresponding to the number of degrees. Now, when we're creating a function, the first thing we need to do in this very first line is name the function along with any input and output parameters. So we're going to call our function rad to degree. And we're going to call the output d for degrees and the input r for radians. So the first line of our function we'll have the word function out front and then we'll have d for degrees is equal to radian and then in parentheses we give our input parameter so our output parameter equal to function name and then in parentheses input parameter now notice we have the word function out here in the front and that's to indicate to MATLAB that we're defining a new function. All right, so after this first line, we need to define how our function works. So I'm actually going to leave a space here to make it easier to read. So I'm just going down to the third line. So how is the function defined? It's defined by the number of degrees being equal to the number of radians times 180 over pi. And pi in MATLAB is just described as lowercase p, lowercase i. So we're saying that our output d here is equal to our input r times 180 divided by pi. All right, and that's all we need for our function here. Now the way that we get our function to work is we have to save it and we have to name the M file the same name as we're using to describe our function. So I'm going to go up to save. And notice that the name that pops up is the name of the function as it already stands. So we'll say yes, that's how we want to save this. If we look over in the current folder, we now have an M file named rad 2 degree. All right, so let's try our function out. Let's see if it works. So we could type in rad to degree of pi, and we know that that should be 180. All right, so we get the answer that we expect. We could also try rad to degree of pi over 4. We get 45 degrees. We could try rad to degree of 3 pi over 4 get 135 degrees. All right, you should notice that each time this is uh, you're executing the command, if you look over in the workspace, we're not generating variables named R or D. So this is because any variables that are defined within the function are internal to that function only. However, if we had typed into the command window d equals rad to degree of pi over 4, then we do create a variable named d. But this variable came into existence not because we had a variable d defined in the function, but because we defined it here in the command window. So this is very different from script M files, which do generate variables in the workspace. Function files do not generate variables in the workspace. So to recap, you should now be able to create a MATLAB function with one input and one output. 